Chat moderation with OpenAI. It turns out that OpenAI has an API for developers that's completely free. There's a free API on OpenAI. Who would have thought? Well, it turns out moderation is a technique that is fairly streamlined these days in terms of a simpler AI model that is easier and cheaper to run, comparing that to like OpenAI's ChatGPT model, which is really expensive, or probably around, you know, a million dollars per day in just the electricity bill. That's not even the compute, that's not even the hardware that they took to purchase, just to run the hardware. It's really expensive. It turns out a moderation AI is significantly cheaper, so they have pretty much spare compute, and that's probably why they're giving it away for free. And we we can use it to build a chat moderation a, uh, capability into our chat application. And it's really powerful. The, the critical thing here is with any app containing in-app chat, you'll need a way to moderate the messages, right? And it's not feasible to moderate all the messages because there's so many humans sending a lot of messages. It's, it's, it's a lot, it's ridiculous. Even on uh, PubNub today, we've got over a billion connected devices and uh, they're sending trillions of API calls, trillions of JSON messages, all containing text. And, that's a lot to moderate for other humans. So it makes more sense to have a system that can do this automatically for us. And it's true here that uh, moderation is complex and is topic overall. So we can use something called PubNub functions, which makes it really easy to modify uh, messages uh, as they're intercepted before they even reach the destination. We're gonna show a simplified example of that, of course. You can go even further with PubNub functions uh, integrations into other uh, moderation tools with sentiment analysis, including lasso moderation to saying, you could even have a regular expression-based model that you code yourself, of course. You have Lexalytics and Community Sift. With PubNub BizOps workspace, you can monitor all the communications and conversations as well, so that way you still have the human aspect to it. If needed, you can intercept and delete messages uh, as, as, as you desire. As you find the need to, you can do this as well with PubNub BizOps workspace. The OpenAI moderation endpoint is an API that OpenAI gives away for free. It's free for developers to use in their application and specifically, uh, they allow us to use it as a REST API that is used to determine uh, whether text contains potentially harmful terms, right, words or phrases that, uh, you know, were their suspect, right? In this case, uh, you want to potentially remove harmful content and uh, right now, at the time of recording, it's free of charge to use this, which is kind of a, it's only English though. Okay, well, there's <laughs> a, that's that's one of the drawbacks, but in this case, it's, it supports English, which is great. So we see here that the moderation API supports a lot of identification categories. We see uh, some hate, harassment, self-harm, um, a whole bunch of other violence, like things that are non-good, right? Things that you want to moderate if there is a group chat scenario. Uh, you would like to sort of flag, check to see if there's anything flagged. If there's any one item in this list out of the categories, right? We see here that we see a couple of uh, true tags here. And so what you can see is just check this flagged output result. So when you submit the API text, text to the API, it's gonna give you back a result whether there's anything in the text that needs to be moderated. That's actually really powerful. So it's great that we know that there's something that we need to pay attention to here. And then you can sort of see what specifics it's going into, right? So we see some, in this, in this example, uh, we, uh, the, the example doesn't provide the actual text itself, but you see that the flags are coming back as harassment, threatening, and violence, which means that that probably should not be displayed in that group chat. We can add automatic moderation to our in-app chat really straightforwardly using PubNub functions to catch the message before it gets sent to the group and then look at it using OpenAI's API, that's a moderation a API, that they provide at the time of recording free. It's completely free for developers to use. You can then check the text, submit it to OpenAI's API. It will give you back data saying that there is something to moderate or there's not something to moderate and you can choose whether the message gets sent to everyone uh, or uh, to allow it to be blocked outright, right? So you wanna block that message because it's got something that you might want to block, right? Something that uh, needs to be moderated. It's actually really straightforward. So of course, uh, if you already have a PubNum account, or if you don't, you wanna make sure to log in the account and then you'll select functions and then you'll want to create a new module. 
really straightforward. So actually, let's, let's do these. Let's do these things step by step here. Um, okay, I'm logged into my dashboard. I'm going to click on functions over here, and I'm going to select my app. I'm going to create a module, and then I'm going to call this moderation with open AI API. We select our key set, and we click create. Now we've got our function here. And what we can do is, let's see here, this is the moderation function, and it's going to be on before publish. It's pretty hard to miss. It's the one at the top right now. Before publish or fire is what you want to select. Then we will say chat.star. Now we're in the code editor. What we're going to do is we want to copy and paste our code from the article and we'll go over here, paste it in. And we also need our open API key. So scroll down to my secrets. We're gonna click on my secrets and then we're going to add our open API key here. Uh, and it needs to be a secret, right? So you just plug that in, open, AP, open AI API key is the value and then the secret you pipe in there. All right, we click save. We have our secret saved perfectly nice and steady. So we're actually ready to go. All we have to do, I believe, is just click start module what it's going to do is it's going to deploy your function code here globally to all of our edge locations around the world. When uh, we run on AWS, all of Amazon's regions and data centers and all of their availability zones, this will deploy that function to all those locations. Every time a user sends a message into the system, you know, a chat message, it will be routed to the closest region to that user for, you know, reliability and also performance and speed. And then it will run this code on their, on their, uh, their message. And then we will see, kind of look through here, what this, what's happening here. So every time a message gets sent in, we're going to grab the text of that message and we're going to run it through OpenAI's moderation API. Then we're going to append the result from the AI directly into the message. And then we're going to turn the message as, as we want. So in this case, we're not doing any direct blocking of the message here, even though we could, we could block the message outright. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to pass it back to the user's application, and then they can determine what they want to do with that. Maybe they want to display the message or hide the message, right? So something that we could do here is hide the message and you can get an effect that looks like this message contains potentially harmful content. And then there's a reveal button. So then you can have the user decide if they want to look at it from that perspective. So that allows you to give more control on the client side. So that is a good way to do that. Another approach, of course, is to directly block outright directly in the code here if you want it. All right, so we can easily test this on uh, directly. So scroll down here uh, until you get to the test section. And then we have our text. It's just going to say hello world. And you click publish and it's going to, oh, here's, so what it did was it keeps the original text. And then we added the OpenAI moderation of response object. And it says there's no flagged uh, categories, which is great. That means that it's really easy to determine that, hey, there's probably nothing harmful here that needs to be moderated. And if there was, we can go into the categories and see which particular uh, aspect is considered harmful, right? That needs to be moderated. And that's it, it's really straightforward. So just to wrap up, you have a moderation API provided uh, by OpenAI's free moderation AI endpoint. And then it allows us really easily to add that into our chat experience to have an automatic AI moderation embedded directly. Cause we need it, we need it. We have a, a lot of messages going through the system. We don't have uh, the time to have someone always looking at every single message and to block them. Cause it, it plus they would take a while to do it too, right? So you have to read it. A human has to read it. it takes a while to read. Hmm, is that is that worth moderating? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you can, uh, the AI can do that immediately uh, in fractions of a second, right? So they would be able to do that a lot more quickly. And something that you could also do is uh, allow a human to then unflag. For example, if it's uh, if if there's some some additional need for that, you could also do that as well. And so uh, we make this really easy with PubNub functions on uh, PubNub's global network. We are the world's largest publish subscribe network that allows our customers to build chat like applications, and we make it really easy to, for you to add any kind of custom capabilities into the message as they are being processed through the network. And you can go even further, right? So say you wanted to build a chatbot, but you and you wanted to do this using a large language model or an API like ChatGPT, you can build that for your business as well. And we have some additional guides for you to do that. Check out ways to build a chatbot with PubNub and ChatGPT.